the people's main event of that card on Friday afternoon here in the United States on Showtime is Patchy Mix, who's a guy that a lot of people are excited about in Bellator against the return of the Strabanimal, our good friend James Gallagher, who I have not talked to in quite some time. And so without further ado, let us go to the Zoom machine and say hello to the one and only James Gallagher, who is joining us wearing that familiar robe. James, my friend, how are you? (laughs) I'm good, bro. I'm good now. This is not the usual. This is just the hotel. One. I know. This is just the hotel. One, so it is just relaxing back tonight before the weigh-ins tomorrow. Are you at that hotel right across the uh, the way there from the three arena? The one that I stayed yeah. at it in 2014 for Connor versus uh, Diego right now. Same one? Yeah, actually, well, you can't really see because the I've got the curtains closed, but right outside I've got the balcony and the arena is just right outside uh, my room. It's a beautiful uh, it thing. Is. So every, every morning I wake up, I walk out and me boxers, big, nice breath, fresh Irish air. It's great, man. It's good to be home. Well, uh, James, we have so much to talk about. Um, I understand. I know you just spoke to the media not that long ago in uh, in Ireland there. You haven't done a lot of media leading up to this fight. You have kind of uh, remained quiet. Why is that? Uh, I've been just doing me thing. It's not anything comes me way. Do you know what I mean? I, I've definitely been doing it. I haven't been turning away media or, okay. do you know what I mean? Or nothing like that. But um, uh, no, I've been just focused out in Kansas City, doing my, doing, just getting the head on. Do you know what I mean? Putting in the work and it's all going to show off on Friday night. Do you know what I mean? So I've been just putting all my focus into me. Um, uh, things have been good out there and just them focused and due course. And no, there'd be no reason for no media or nothing like that. I've just, I've been doing what's been coming my way and had a good media today today. And it's great to see all the lads, Sean Sheehan and all the boys back in, do you know what I mean? It's good energy around to see all the guys back in doing interviews in person again. And it's great, man. Do you know what I mean? It's not, I never turned on media or anything. Do you know what I mean? It's good. I, I appreciate how the hard work and the energy and the, and the effort that the journalists put in to promote me and, and paint me out to be in a good light as well. Do you know what I mean? So no, nah, I don't turn away no media. Yeah. Okay, good. I wanted to clear that up. Now, the other thing that you just mentioned there that, of course, is a big storyline going into this fight is Kansas City. Why did you go to Kansas City to go train with the likes of James Krause and the great team over there and uh, not train for this fight in your home country of, of Ireland? Yeah, I moved over there um, last January. So I did. I went over before Christmas and uh, just for like a holiday. And, uh, well, not holiday, but a training trip just uh, for two weeks. And I just fell in love with the place. So I did. I really enjoyed it over there. And I, I'm, I'm 25 now. Do you know what I mean? I'm still like, I'm very, very young, but I'm also like just you know, becoming a man, maturing up. And I'm getting there. And I've realized that it's all really about the journey in this game. Do you know what I mean? In a few years' time, when, I, when, I, when it's all said and done, and I want to come out on top as one of the greatest ever. Do you know what I mean? I'm I'm not here to just put on a show and just Jimmy show this, and I, I'm just not here to do that. I'm here to do much more. Do you know what I mean? And that's the move that I needed to make to do that. I want to be known as one of the greatest ever. And yeah, I'm going to win belts. I'm going to be multiple world champion, and I, I'm going to do all that. And I'm going to have a crazy, crazy, crazy story. But for me, when I'm when I'm when I'm 40, when I'm 50 years old, I'm 60 years old. I'm going to be on top. Mm. I'm going to be the MMA guy that has rose above everything, hasn't squandered everything, hasn't fallen off the radar, hasn't lost their mind. I'm going to be the guy that's going to set that example of how to do this correctly. And so does that mean you are done with SBG? No, no, no. John Cavanaugh is going to be in my corner. Okay. So he is on Friday night. John, John's got me to a world-class level. Um, uh, John let me live this him. John was a, a big brother to me do you know what I mean for years and uh, now me and John are still very close and uh, and that but uh, I will be James coach James Cross is that now my head coach you know what I mean but John's my coach as well and uh, I'll always be a part of SBG I, I no longer train there as you could say I'm, I live in Kansas City now and I, I no longer train there but now I've got SBG tattooed on me and I'll be an SBG member until I die but I know I train at Glory and I'm, I'm a part of Glory also do you know what I mean but uh, my loyalty is forever will stay to John for forever do you know what I mean in this game wow so you live full time in Kansas City now you have moved yeah uh, yeah. Wow. So that's fa- okay. Yeah. Now the other thing that came across my feed as I was doing the show because you just spoke to the media like an hour or so ago. 
Are you becoming a father, James? Young James I becoming am, a dad? I am, man. What I in am, the world? So. Muzzle tov. Muzzle tov, yeah. as they say. <laughs> Thanks very much. Mike Yogan said the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he did. <laughs> <Exact words. laughs> so it is, yeah. So I'm very, very, very grateful. I really, life, life's good to me. Do you know what I mean? My my family's good. My girlfriend's good. And every Everything's good. Do you know what I mean? I've really went out there and, and changed myself and got real focused. And from stuff like every morning before I even like look at my phone, when I, I wake up at 6 a.m. every day, take a five-minute cold shower, do an hour of reading before I even look at my phone. Wow. So it is, yeah, so it is. And then, so what I'm doing now, I check my emails, get breakfast, go and train for two, three hours, come back, do ice baths, recover, heat, and get ready, go to the gym again. Then I just come back that night and I'm doing the same reading, studying fights, spend time with my girl. There's just, I've got nothing else going on but chasing greatness, mate. And, it, and it's, this is going to be special. I've got a different energy. I'm feeling absolutely amazing. I'm maturing. I'm seeing things different, and I'm really becoming up. I'm becoming a man. Do you know what I mean? And and I'm really, really seeing it. And I'm really, really feeling it. And I've got a real confidence, mate. It's it's different this time, and my confidence is really, really real. And I'm just really on a different level. Jimmy, I could feel the maturation. I could see it. I could sense yeah. it. I mean, even I mean, you look kind of different. If I'm being honest, you've grown up yeah. a little bit in front of our eyes. But even your your yeah. your demeanor here, the way in which you are speaking, mm -hmm. the cadence, what do you attribute this maturation to? Just everything that I've I've got going on around me, the circle that I've got surrounding me. In made I, I don't want to say you know what I mean I, I I'm never shy of blowing my own trumpet but I have to give myself a big pat in the back do you know what I mean I, I've took myself away from all the distractions put myself into the uncomfortable moved out there on my own uh, do you know what I mean like I, I've really really just did what everyone anyone I see that tries to do this sticks it for a camp and loses their mind and they don't they don't stick the course and I've really really stuck the course you know what I mean just to better myself as a person and what what that has done is it showed me that I'm just a true martial artist at heart that's what I am deep 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 down I am a true martial artist here to set an example for the future do you know what I mean? I've got a kid on the way and I'm going to set that example for my kid and for my family. And uh, and that's it. that's my mission. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to strive for greatness and for greatness, you need knowledge. So I'm just trying to find out all the knowledge I can and just practice it every day. I'm flying straight. I came here. I spent a week at my home with my mom and my dad and my girlfriend. And then I fight Friday night. I fly out at 6 a.m. Saturday morning. I'm making training on Monday in Kansas City. Wow. That is amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's not, I'm not looking past Patchy Mix. I'm not looking over this. I'm not, I'm not overlooking him whatsoever. I'm solely focused on him, but I'm chasing greatness, mate. And this is the kind of things that you got to do. These are the sacrifices that I'm making. These are, it, it, it's more of a sacrifice to come here for a full week instead of fighter hotel than it is to go train. Do you know what I mean? I, I've just missed out in a week of training. I've missed out, you know what I mean? That That's how I feel now. I'm just every day in the gym, just focusing on myself and becoming a better person. Uh, I'm fascinated by your, your morning ritual. It's one of the things that I really want to change about myself. The first thing I do when I wake up, I'm ashamed to say, is check my phone, the texts, yeah. the emails, the nonsense. What do you read? Yeah. You say the five-minute shower, which is mind-blowing in its own right, because I can't think of anything worse than a five-minute cold shower when you wake up. So credit to you for that. What do you read for that hour after your shower? Uh, right now, I'm doing uh, Hicks and Gracie, Breathe. Um, uh, I'm doing that one. My last one was Chop Wood, Curry Water. Uh, what was the one before that? Uh, the, se uh, highly, the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. Wow. Uh, I was sure. doing that one as well. Yeah, so this is the last, the last couple of them. So it's, it's been good. Yeah, wait and, a second. And for me, mate, it, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. If for, me, for me, it was kind of like I could never see the benefit. And like, what the fuck am I reading? And it's born and whatever. But you know, do you know what it? Do you know what it does do? Is set your mind for the tone for the day that no matter what comes your way you can accomplish it because the hardest thing to do in the morning is to get up out of bed and just be disciplined instantly. Do you know what I mean? So see when you wake up the first second of your day and you're disciplined, that discipline is set for the day. Mm. 
So it is. So when you come to nighttime, you're chilling down, you're having a cup of tea and the biscuits are in the freezer. You don't go near them because you've been disciplined since you have woke up. So why ruin it now? Let's keep going, go to bed, rest, and get up the next day and do it again. Do you know what I mean? And just repeat and grow each day and you can feel it. It gets easier each day. You get stronger. The habits become drilled into you and you just feel on top of the world. It gives you a sense of freedom. It So it is, it's absolutely amazing. Gosh, you make me feel like a slob, but also you 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 want me to, ch- I mean, I feel like I'm going to change my life. I'm going to run through a wall now because <laughs> I had Ian Gary firing me up at the beginning of the interview and I got you firing me up as well, James. Yeah. Now, uh, I have seen some people over the years um, marry uh, a Gracie family member and change their name to Gracie. Are you changing your name to Gracie, James? Are you going to be James Gracie? <laughs> what is going on here? Uh, this is man, this is uh, you know yourself, two big families, the Gallagher's and Gracie. <laughs> That's going to be a dangerous combination. So it is, it's, it's going to be a good one. Two highly fighting families coming together. And, uh, I'm very lucky that I've created something special. I'm with my girlfriend, Victoria, and it's it's going to be good, mate. It's going to be good. I'm in a real good place surrounded by the most amazing people, and it's it's good. It's good. I'm 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 creating something here right now. I'm building an empire. Incredible. And it's all going to unfold real soon. Do you know what I mean? I'm just staying patient, staying the course, keeping the head down, staying focused, avoiding all distractions. And if you're not talking about chasing greatness, I don't want to be in your company. I mean, Victoria's a legend. She, I think the niece of Hoist Gracie, right? If I have this correct? Yeah. I mean, look at yeah. you. I mean, this is this is true martial arts royalty. And and I mean, unbelievable. James Gracie Gallagher. I can hear it now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's going to be Victoria Gallagher. Really. Okay. <laughs> is there a wedding? Is there is there a date? Uh, no, I don't know. No, no dates. Okay. No, dates. Well, let me know. Send we'll me the go, save the we'll date. Going yeah, yeah, hundred percent. We're going to have a a nice kid now next year in uh, in May, and uh, and don't worry. Are you invited? Being all right, you're, you, you'll have your invite that post. So you will. You'll have your invite that post. Well, that is amazing. I'm very happy for you guys. Now, uh, Patchy Mix. I mean, no joke. Like you said, you can't look past this man. Uh, and this no. is a fight that was booked already. Didn't come to fruition. By the way, why did you withdraw from that fight? What happened? Uh, I tore the labrum on my shoulder. Oh so my! I did a partial tear, and yeah, so it did pit me off for a bit. It was a fucking nightmare, man. It was one of them ones that any anyone that any specialist that I seen didn't really have an answer for me. Do you know what I mean? And then I seen uh, Doctor Kelsor in uh, California, and he fixed my problem for me. So he did. So um, you're good uh, now. Being back. Yeah, 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 I'm good. Okay. It was just a, a, a slight partial tear. I got some PRP treatment in it, some good uh, rehab stuff, and uh, I'm strong as an ox, I admit. Strong as an ox physically, and most importantly, mentally. How do we feel about Patchy? Would you say, fair to say, correct me if you feel otherwise, most talented guy you fought in Bellator so far? Yeah, I would say so. Probably, yeah, uh, him. You yeah, have him, Cal Elnar, Chins and Machida. They're the top. They're yeah. on the top, do you know what I mean? Cal, Cal's a physically bigger, harder hitting, stronger opponent. And I would say Pachi's a little less of that and a bit more technical. Okay. And uh, are you impressed with him? Like, do you feel like he was going to test you? Do you feel like this is uh, 15 minutes, you know, that, that no, you don't, you don't feel that way? He's definitely going to test me. Okay. He's def- 100% going to test me. I don't know if it's going to go 15 minutes, but he's definitely going to test me. He's going to push me in, and he's going to make me shine. So he is. He's going to make me shine. He's going to be the – I'm the diamond. He's just going to polish me. So he is. He, he's, he's the dance partner I need in here on a Friday night to, to show the world that I'm great. That's what he is to me. He, he's the man – that's going to show the world how great I am. So I'm um, so I'm not looking past him. I have no animosity against him. I've got no feelings. I'm chasing greatness. There was a time a couple of years ago where it felt like you and AJ McKee were on a collision course. And of course, yeah. now he's gone out and done his thing. He's the champion at 145. You're doing your thing. Is that still yeah. a thing? Does this fight have to happen at some point? I feel like this could be one of the biggest fights in Beltar, two kind of homegrown guys. What, what do you think about that? Is that still a thing? Because we don't hear 100%. as much talk about it, uh, of that fight. 
Yeah, AJ's all for the camera. Mitty tried to create a hype that Bellator just wasn't there. And I was real with it. Do you know what I mean? When he used to put on the thing for the cameras and all, I was like, Mitt, don't be my friend behind the camera and, and, and try and stick out this big man behind, behind the scene because he was the man coming up apologizing for his teammate to me for disrespecting me. He was the man coming into my hotel room looking to come out partying with me. Oh. And I was like, no, 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 no. Do you know what I mean? None of, none of this stuff when it when his teammate was over. But and then all the beef and the cameras and all that was all fake bullshit, mate. And I'm not, I'm not about that. Do you know what I mean? And I told him, I was like, don't do that, mate. Or you'll you'll, you'll get it real. Do you know what I mean? And, and the thing and that kind of fills it out. But he's went and done what he's done, which was absolutely amazing. Do you know what I mean? respect to him for, for what he has done and and all this here but when I beat Pachi I'm then the number one title uh, I'm in the number one title contender slot um, I, I will fight for the bantamweight belt after I beat this man on Friday night and uh, let's double them up let's go let's go why not I, go. I'm open I'm open to anything I'm I'm here to treat chase greatness and if that opportunity presents itself I'm going to grab it with two hands and that's something that I'm definitely open to and definitely would like to talk to so it is give me that million quid and the belt. <laughs> In December, great title fight, Sergio Pettis, Kyoji Horiguchi. Are you hoping one or the other is champion by the time you get there? Uh, yeah, I can see Horiguchi. I think Horiguchi is going to uh, be too tricky for him. I feel like he'll frustrate uh, Pettis and uh, Pettis will end up slipping up, making a mistake, and Hargucci will catch me like a clean counter, you know, that awkward stance he has got and stuff. So I think I'll be fighting Hargucci for the belt. Okay. What a week for uh, Irish MMA. You, Peter Queeley, fighting for the vacant title. Ian Gary, Medicine yeah. Square Garden. Uh, Sinead Cavanaugh next week fighting Chris Cyborg. Yeah. So it feels like Irish MMA is back. I feel like there was a bit of a down period there, but it feels like a, a renaissance of sorts. You know what I'm saying? 100% mate it's absolutely mate just the energy around here and it's kind of people with me like I had a few people kind of like laughing at me like oh I can't wait to see how Gallagher moans about Pete being the main event and me being the co-main event and it's like like mate I get the opportunity to be the co-main event in the three arena while my teammate fights for a world title like and people were thinking I, I was going to be pissed or Mate, what an opportunity I've got in my hands. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's absolutely amazing. I'm forever grateful to be the common event underneath Peter Queeley as I get to witness him win a world title. Like, it's the, it's perfect. Perfect. So it is a perfect opportunity for me to be underneath him. And it's a perfect opportunity for him to go and win that belt. It's just, it's amazing. The energy is good and it's... It just feels special this week around here. So it does. It's nice, calm, and everyone's in a good place. Pete is absolutely solid. So he is. He's on form. I'm on form. I was speaking to Sinead Kavna today. She's on form. I'm going to be attending her fight next week also. And man, it's just a fucking. We're all we're all shining. Do you mm. know what I mean? We're all shining. It's great. Do you know what I mean? And. I'm very happy. I've got my father around. I've got my girlfriend around. I've got my friends around. I'm James Christ is here. I've got my nutritionist, Tyler Minton. Come on, it's, it's fucking great. It's great. It's you're not here. I'll also I know. Is you, man. I know. Is you. I, I, I know. You know, uh, I got to do this show here. I got to hold down the fort. Tyler's a legend as well. Mm -hmm. I see. I see. I know. How's it feel to be back? How does it feel to be I'm back, James. I'm back, baby. My own damn thing. Right, and you're letting them know as well. Let's go. Watch you. are letting all the rest of them know that you're back. Don't speak shit on Ariel. That's right. You'll all get it. That's right. I've got your back. And see if any of them talking shit, just give me a call. Be straight there. Be first class in New York. Thank you, James. You're the man. And I see and I see the big dog, Connor, milling about as well. He's in He's in town too, correct? He's going to be there on Friday. Uh, I'm not sure. I think Connor might be in Dubai. Is he in Dubai? I saw a video of him and Peter Queeley. Is that an old video? Yeah, I think that was an uh, old video. Okay, so okay, was, okay. Yeah, I think that was an old video. I'm, I'm not. I'm not too sure. I think Connor's out in Dubai at the minute, so he is. I'm not sure if he's. Uh, okay, if you would know better than be me. Around. Maybe I misread that tweet. Um, but I'm happy yeah. to hear that you are. And by the way, last thing, why? Why did you choose Kansas City? Like, why didn't you go to L.A.? Why didn't you go to Florida? Like, why that gym? Uh, have you seen the results that they've been getting? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. So you, you sought them out? 
Yeah, well, my nutritionist, Tyler Minton. That's right. My, he's became like a big brother to me. So he has uh, over the last four or five years. And he he's just always been guiding me. And he was like, man, just try it out over there. And he knew gyms and whatnot. And I just went over and felt at home with And I was like, I had no distractions. The training was absolutely amazing. The vibe was so welcoming. And they just took me in as one of their own. Do you know what I mean? There was no, no nothing against me. And I, I don't get that many places I go. People have a very... Uh, a very bad opinion of me or something. And he, he, he was even saying that coaches who I don't know, who don't know me and I've never trained or worked with him before in my entire life. Like, Oh, don't bring that guy into gym. He's going to be hard work. He's not a good training partner and all this. And after one week of being there, every person in the gym has come to gyms, like make sure he stays around. He's one of the best training partners we've got. He's and James is like, was odd. He was always, you're one of the most coachable guys. All you want is information. You just come in and get your work done and leave. And I was like, yeah, mate. I was like, everyone, everyone talk likes to talk shit. You know what I mean? They all say that I talk shit and I'm a shit talker and I'm this. And I was like, but to be honest with you, everyone else talks shit about me talking shit. It's like, yeah, it's not true. And he's like, yeah, I'm starting to see this now. Do you know what I mean? So it's, it's funny to see. And even today I did the, the media and uh, Pachi, my opponent, came in said about how rude I am, how rude I am to the belt or staff, how I am to all the media, and all the media were confused because every time that they come in, the belt or staff come out to like get the media out. I'm like, no, can you please let them stay? I want to finish and answer all their questions. Every time the staff come, I bring them chocolates, sweets, and all this, and everyone's running around going, where were these people? Why are these people trying to paint this narrative? Do you know what I mean? Because when they still see it and the people are around, you know what I mean? The hotel's small. Everyone knows what's going on. Everyone knows what's what. And everyone's kind of looking at people raising their eyebrow going, hmm, this is just really not how it is around here. Haters. Haters make yeah, you famous, you know I mean? James. So Haters make you famous. It's nice. It's nice. Exactly. Exactly. So it is Andy Mickey. Andy Mickey, if you quit as well, because they yeah. keep talking about me. Do you know what I mean? You more sponsors come along and all this. So that's why everyone's like, how do you deal with that? And I'm like, oh, it just benefits me. It's a beautiful thing. You know, I said um, moments ago, like the maturation, I was talking about that, but let's be honest. I remember when you came in studio after your loan loss and the maturity you showed on that Monday after your loss, like literally two days later, uh, I, I think spoke volumes of you and let everyone know that you're a different kind of cat and that you'll handle these things. You showed up there, you owned it, and you haven't lost since, and you've only gotten better. So I can't wait for this new version of the Jimmy Show this Friday, Showtime, co-main event, Patchy Mix. So happy for everything going on in your life, James. I didn't know about fatherhood. Just I just happened to see it on the feed as it popped yeah, up there. Yeah. I think Sevier um, tweeted it out. So mazel tov again to you and your girlfriend. Happy for you guys. Good luck this Friday. And then I hope all goes well and you finally get that title shot in 2022, my friend. Thanks, Errol. Thank you very much. It's an honor. Also, I tell your mom, I was asking, I really appreciate her message that time I was on your show. That's right. Oh, wow. a lot. <laughs> Man, that is Thank old school. Much, Good Mark. memory, my friend. <laughs> Great memory. I appreciate it, brothers. Thank you so much. It means a lot. It's an honor to be on your show once again, my friend. Thank you. All right. We'll talk to you soon. There he is, the Strabanimal. Thanks, Have a good one. James Gallagher returning on Friday. Like I said, a huge week for Irish MMA. His fight, Peter Queeley's fight, Ian Gary's fight, Sinead Cavanaugh next week. Just a great time for the sport. A great time for the sport. Bellator 270.